Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading for what is going on with your divine feminine and how are they feeling about you and the situation. So I want to be clear right away that divine feminine doesn't necessarily mean that this person is female, although they could be. Um, this person could be a they or even male. It's all about the energy that they carry. So I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys real quick the Divine Feminine Energy just so you kind of can understand is this me or is this the other person. If you realize this Divine Feminine is actually you, this could be a reading for what's going on with you and how you're feeling about your Divine Masculine. All right, um, and I definitely suggest that you maybe pause this video and do a little bit more research if you're confused. Um, but I'm going to try to break this down for you guys. So um, this is basically the energy of like the goddess um, and the energy of like the earth. So the divine feminine is the nurturer. She gives shelter, a place to have food, water. She nurtures us. She keeps us alive. Um, this is somebody who is very sacred. Um, and Divine Feminine is also linked to water, which is the element of the emotional world. So um, the Divine Feminine is very connected to their emotions, very connected to their creativity. Um, and so this is like very right brain energy. Someone who's comfortable expressing their emotions. Um, also somebody who's very intuitive. Um, someone who's a healer, very healing energy, very loving. And so I'm also seeing with Divine Feminine, this is the energy of like the creative force. And so someone who's artistic, someone who's spiritual, um, creativity, sensuality, sexuality, and um, just unleashing the creativity, feeling very emotional. So this is, the goddess is the catalyst and the muse and the inspiration. So very like moon energy. So that's just very simple, very basic. If you're still confused, you don't know, is this me, is this the other person? Definitely just Google it and research it real quick and there's gonna be a lot of information on it right away and you can get a good sense of who you are, if you're the Divine Feminine or the Divine Masculine. So we're gonna go ahead and continue forward. You're gonna choose an object to get your reading. First object is number one, the Snow Quartz Rock. Number two, the adventuring crystal or number three the selenite wand so if you choose number one the snow quartz rock we're going to get started so what is going on with divine feminine for number one so I see a lot of reversals here which is definitely talking about delays. So there have been a lot of delays for your divine masculine. Divine, or sorry, divine feminine. <laughs> so this is divine feminine. There have been a lot of de delays here for your divine feminine. <laughs> I see that divine feminine has really been trying to surrender their will and trying to release the energy of their divine masculine. So of you probably, if you're divine masculine watching this. Um, Divine Feminine has really just been like, you know what, this has been going on for so long, this energy is so heavy, it's been making me depressed, I've just been trying to make this work out, but I need to get my control of my life back. And so Divine Feminine has really let this go. Um, and I see that because of it, they're getting a better control over their emotions and better control over their confidence and feeling like they can focus more on their life, on what's going on for them. So I do see a full releasing of the Divine Masculine for, coming from the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine feels hurt. Divine Feminine feels backstabbed, like they've just been left out in the cold. There's been so many mysteries with them trying to get together with Divine Masculine. And so Divine Feminine is just really feeling upset and trying to just release this energy. And so I do see that Divine Feminine has been spending a lot more time being playful, a lot more time having fun, a lot more time pursuing the activities and hobbies and interests that help them to feel fun and confident and just free in their own skin. And I actually see because of this, Divine Feminine isn't feeling as hesitant to move forward with their dreams and with their goals. So Divine Feminine is 
either taking big risks right now and just doing things that almost seem kind of out of character for them, um, or Divine Feminine is getting ready to take some kind of leap of faith. And so what, what they're working on right now is insecurity because feeling left out in the cold from Divine Masculine did kind of hit their self-esteem and their, their sense of security hard. And so Divine Feminine is trying to get their stability back and trying to just move on from whatever transpired between the, her and the Divine Masculine. And so what I'm seeing overall for Divine Feminine is just a total take back of their life, taking control, letting go of just all the things that happened in the past and letting go of these old traumas and trying to move forward with confidence and with faith. And there's a highlight on their creativity, of course, and also on their playfulness and their sense of fun. And so um, I do see Divine Feminine making more friends and pursuing more opportunities and putting this as a highlight in their life right now. So how does this apply to you? How is Divine Feminine feeling about you or about their Divine Masculine? Yeah, so Divine Feminine is realizing that they deserve love. And so Divine Feminine is like, you know what? I don't deserve to be left out in the cold like this any longer. I don't deserve to be played. I don't deserve to have my emotions just jerked around. And so Divine Feminine is going into a place of trust because we see that Divine Feminine has completely surrendered their will and released and got into that surrender mode with this connection. And so what I see as far as it applies to you as a Divine Masculine is that Divine Feminine is starting to feel like this might be unsafe for me to love this person if they're not reciprocating, if they're not moving forward, if they're just leaving them out in the cold. And so Divine Feminine is moving forward with a new love or thinking about moving on to somebody else. They are working currently on forgiving and learning, trying to heal the past, trying to experience more love in their present moments. Um, but there's still an aspect of them that's waiting for their Divine Masculine. So I do feel Divine Feminine is being pulled in a couple different directions right now. Um, they're, they want to move forward with the new love because they don't feel safe anymore in the connection with their Divine Masculine, but there's an aspect of them that is still waiting for you. So hopefully that helps. That is how your Divine Feminine is feeling about you and, if, and what's going on with them. And if you have any more questions, feel free to contact me at my website, promiseharmony.com slash services to book your own personal reading. Or stay tuned because I offer free readings here on my channel every day. So if you chose number two, let's see if I can find it. It disappeared. If you chose number two, here we go, the Adventuring Crystal, then here is your reading for what's going on with your Divine Feminine and how are they feeling about you in this situation. So it's very possible that your Divine Feminine is in a relationship right now or even a marriage or just some kind of committed partnership. And they have found a very strong foundation in this relationship to be able to be creative and to express themselves. Um, and so this has a lot to do with their relationship. They've probably been thinking a lot about their relationship right now. Um, because I see that Divine Feminine is realizing that in this relationship, even though it's stable, and even though there's a strong commitment here and like they get to focus so much on their creativity and there's just freedom, there could even be financial support that's coming in for them um, <clears throat> or just, you know, creative support. It does seem to be like kind of a healthy relationship, but there's an aspect of Divine Feminine that's not feeling secure and not feeling like fulfilled here. And so Divine Feminine just keeps going around in circles and circles trying to get through this door. And maybe this door is, is the Divine Feminine leaving this relationship behind because we do see the lone wolf and there's like this secret desire of the Divine Feminine to be on their own, to maybe manifest something new. Maybe that something new is you, the Divine Masculine. And so this is what's on their mind right now. They're thinking hardcore about this. They're thinking hardcore about their Divine Masculine. If Divine Feminine that you're um, asking about is not in a relationship, this bird could, it's usually the relationship card, but it could stand for um, Divine Feminine waiting patiently for the Divine Masculine to come in to provide them with a strong foundation. And in the meantime, they're working towards their creativity and they might just feel stuck and blocked when it comes to romance. And they're, they've just been single for a while, you know, trying to manifest this in. But either way, Divine Feminine is really thinking about Divine Masculine. So um, we already got a lot about how they're feeling about you in this situation, but let's go ahead and look into this more. 
Um, so this is the way that Divine Feminine is feeling about you in the situation. Um, Divine Feminine really sees a strong honeymoon period that could come of this relationship. I mean, Divine Feminine is dreaming about how beautiful this connection could be, about the places you could go together, about the um, energy that could happen, about how amazing and gorgeous this could be when Divine Feminine gets with you, your Divine Masculine. Um, and I think Divine Feminine knows that you guys have been together in a past life. Like Divine Feminine knows that you guys have known each other before. There's a strong magnetic attraction, strong sexual tension here, and a strong connection on emotional, physical, spiritual, intellectual levels. And so there's a strong connection here. And I think that Divine Feminine is definitely thinking about you. Um, it's possible that your Divine Feminine has already expressed their feelings to you or they're thinking about doing it or they're open to expressing this love. Um, I do see that it's possible you guys have been disconnected for a while, maybe because of life, maybe because Divine Feminine is just trying to focus on their creativity, not wanting to <coughs> really reach out and just kind of waiting for Divine Masculine to pursue. Or um, maybe it's because it, it's possible they're in a relationship right now, there's a strong foundation there. So there has been a separation for a while, but regardless, Divine Feminine is very open to hearing from Divine Masculine. And so if you're the Divine Masculine, you're watching this um, and you pick this one, reach out to your Divine Feminine, see what's going on. No matter what their situation is, no matter how busy they, it seems like they are, you know, be tread carefully if they're in a relationship, but I do feel like Divine Feminine wants to hear from you and is just waiting for you to reach out and express your love. And so that is the message to you about your Divine Feminine. I hope that this resonated with you. If you want um, a personal reading from me, head to promiseharmony.com slash services to book, or just simply keep watching because I offer free readings on my channel every day. I'm not trying to pressure anyone to buy anything. I simply just love doing these readings and all of you guys that do purchase are sponsoring me so i can continue to do the free readings so shout out to my sponsors you guys know who you are thank you for your support so those of you guys who chose number three the selenite wand let's see what's going on with your divine feminine delays again um we are seeing a lot of delays right now with the divine feminine divine feminine is very confused okay i don't know what's going on here but it just feels like this energy of they planted a seed. Um, as far as everything in their life goes, they're, they're, they're at this point where they're planting seeds. They're trying to like move forward into this new wave of really putting themselves out there and trying to you know create a new business or take a major leap forward. Maybe they wanna move somewhere or something like that. They are really trying to make these major leaps forward. They're manifesting, they're using the moon energy and they're about to take a huge risk, okay? They're confused though, because I feel like they have strong feelings for the Divine Masculine, um, but and they want to see this through, but it's just like a timing thing. They're feeling disconnected with themselves. They're fe feeling disconnected with their true path. And we've talked about this before. When you become into alignment with your true path and you start moving forward with the things and the, the situations and you know your talent and your purpose and your abilities and your gifts when you start kind of acting in that energy and moving forward with your goals that puts you into an al alignment and when you're in alignment you attract the people and the places and the situation that are meant for you but it kind of seems like divine feminine is there's a delay on them finding this alignment and this is what they're working on right now just trying to find their peace and their balance and getting the courage to take these steps forward i also see that divine feminine could be traveling right now um, or wants to travel because the horse is the travel card. Um, or this could mean they want to move somewhere new. Um, but basically with this energy, um, this is something that they really want to experience. It's going to bring a lot of love and joy into their life. Um, and so this is kind of the energy I'm seeing with Divine Feminine, with wanting to manifest this travel, wanting to manifest these leaps forward. And then we do see, this is reverse too. Um, this talks about some kind of business some kind of opportunity, some kind of product or service that they're thinking about offering to the world. They're having to be really patient because it's kind of a slow start, 
Um, and I see there's a couple more moon cycles that need to transpire before this can really pick up. But there, a lot of their focus could be going to this business, to this travel, to this move, um, and into trying to plant these seeds. So they're, I just see Divine Feminine working really, really hard. Also, this is the mystery card. There's a lot of mystery re revolving around your Divine Feminine. It's like you don't really know fully where they stand, what's happening here. Um, you probably know some of these things I've told you about Divine Feminine, but you want to know more. And so let's go ahead and get into this. How is your Divine Feminine really feeling about you and, um, yeah, the situation? So Divine Feminine wants to connect with their soulmate, wants to connect with you. You know, they've been praying about you. They've been affirming this. They've been visualizing this, trying to help bring you guys together. And I see Divine Feminine wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and wants to say, you know, that they have romantic feelings for you. But they're feeling nervous and insecure and so they have this mask on because they need to protect themselves you know they want to protect themselves because divine feminine has been through a lot doesn't know who they can trust doesn't know if they can trust you divine masculine but there is this playful energy so if you want to approach your divine feminine tread lightly i do see that um having a playful energy will help being kind of light and flirtatious and just being cute with them and keeping it simple is going to help them feel safe to kind of open up. But I do see your divine fem feminine has strong feelings for you. This is still on their heart. Um, with everything that's going on around them in their life, you still hold a special place in their heart. So I hope that this message resonates with you and helps you feel a lot more clear about this energy that you're experiencing in this dynamic right now. And if you have any questions or would like a personal reading, head to promiseharmony.com slash services to receive a personal reading. Or just stay tuned. You guys all know that I have free readings coming up on my channel every day. And I'm so excited to share more with you. So stay tuned. Peace out.